please stay safely within your comfortable zone. Wear comfortable clothing and flat shoes. Listen to your body and rest when you feel tired. Do this exercise as long as you feel comfortable. Most importantly, enjoy the class and be happy. Thank you. Let's start with the warm-up exercise by swinging the arm forward and backward. By doing this uh, simple exercise, we may relax our shoulder muscle and the back muscle and all the way to the floor, to the, to the whole body. Relax your eyes. Your eyes don't focus on any object. Just stay blur. Relax. Relax your shoulder. Relax your hip. Relax your knee. Let your body weight drop down to the floor through your leg. Your breathing technique is normal. We don't have to focus on the breathing. Let your body naturally breathe in and breathe out. Just provide the momentum by swinging the arm forward and backward. Relax. If you feel the weight on your hip or on your knee, use your imagination to relax them and let them go. Let them flow and drop down to the floor through your leg. So we're going to count 10 and we're going to do the next exercise. Okay. One, relax. Two, relax your shoulder. Three, relax your eyes. Four, when the dot come and let the dot go. Feel empty in your mind. Five, relax the shoulder. Six, relax your back. Seven, relax your hip. Eight, relax your knee. Nine, relax the angle, and ten, let your body weight drop all the way down to the floor for your leg. So relax. So we're going to do the next exercise. So we're going to swing the arm left and right. One, two, three. Your eyes look in the front and turn left and right and pat the back. So wake up the, the muscle and lower system. So we're going to do this for 10 counts. If you feel that um, there's a tickling on your fingertips, and you don't feel comfortable, you may uh, shake it, uh, like shake your hands or close your fist for a little bit, then that uh, tickling feeling will be gone. So we're going to count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five, relax, shake the hands and the feet. And then roll, 
roll your shoulder backward and then you will feel sensation and enjoy those uh, feeling flesh sensation over your shoulder. We're going to do 10 for the backward uh, rotation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to do four. One, two, and doing this uh, rotation, and we will lose the, the muscle and the shoulder uh, brace. Give some blood uh, flow. Uh, easy to pass through your shoulder to your neck, to your head, and also let the blood easy to flow down to your heart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake the hands and the feet, and then we're going to pat the arm to wake up the muscle and the lower system. And then rub it and hold all the fingers uh, except the thumb and stress down like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. We're going to do the and on the arm, we carry it, break up the muscle and the lower system. And then hold all the fingers except the thumb and stress down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. So we're going to rub again to give uh, yourself a uh, massage. So rub it and then the shoulder. Put the net on the both sides of the net. There's a blood flow uh, on the side of the net. So rub it, warm up the, the nervous system. And then using the finger like this, the vision and then put in the ear and then rub it like circle movement for three times and then the side of the, the, the head like the temple area and then the gradually uh, circle movement all the way to the top of the head and then down to the forehead like gentle and just tickle it or circle movement around your eyes and then tapping your face gently and then back to the shoulder and then rub the side of the ribs and then the back and then the front to the thighs, the knees and down and come back. Like this now you may feel the relaxation all over your body and uh, the uh, warm-up exercise complete. Welcome to the exercise in Wing Chun Virtual Dummy Form Part 4. Today, uh, we focus on the footwork, hand style and the body turn. We start off with uh, stand position in triangle stand and put the both hands in the center line just like this and uh, we just extend the hand like this it's simple like this so when we extend we open the hands uh, up and extend the elbow just like this we're going to do this for 10 times one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
hand. Uh, the next is like this. So instead of uh, both hands uh, extend, one hand extend and one hand elbow down, just like this. Like this. So we're going to do this for another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we switch hand, we do the same, extend the, the left hand and the right hand elbow down. Just turn the hand like this, just like this. So we're going to do this for another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we last. Alright, so we're going to use uh, the, the footwork combined with the, uh, these hands together, just like this. So when I turn, uh, first turn the uh, feet first, and then your body turn, but when my body turn, I basically, I follow my left hand, follow my right feet, turn at the same time. They coordinate together, like this. And then extend the hand, at the end to a 45 degree turn, extend this hand a little bit, just like this. So we're going to do this for another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hand. We switch hand, like do it like this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do this uh, together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we last five. So we try again. So when I turn this, the next continue up to this and extend the hand, just like this. Instead of uh, turn like this, extend the hand just like this. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So, and then we do another hand. Instead of uh, uh, extend the hand in the middle of the body and extend to the higher, a little bit higher, uh, about the head level. Like this. One, two, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're going to do this uh, together with the left and right turn. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
head. So, okay, the next exercise is up to this and come back and go down. Instead of uh, go up, and this time we go down like this, like this. Turn the body, so the footwork is turn and turn and go down. My right hand and my left foot, they turn together. My, le uh, my left foot turn, my hand turn, just like this. And then my guarding hand, it just remains the guarding hand, no move. It just on this hand, on the left hand, and coordinate with my, my left uh, foot. They turn together, just like this. When I turn, my body turn, but my head is still facing in the center line, in the front. Like this. So we're going to count this for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we switch hand, we do the same. Uh, instead of uh, go to the go extend high, we're going to extend uh, low and elbow down, just like this. Again, the the left foot and then the the right uh, right foot and the left hand they coordinate together. So when the, when my foot work turn and my hand follow my footwork, just like this. So if I do this, I, I, I turn my footwork uh, about the uh, slightly turn. So when I do this, I turn. They follow together, just like this. We're going to do this for another count, uh, 10 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then now uh, we go back, and after this. We just strip, just like this. Trip. So turn, continue with this uh, exercise, and just like this. Just like this. So turn and step forward slightly, just like this. Alright, we're going to do this, another 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. So we're going to switch hand. We're going to do this on another hand. Turn and drop. Okay, like this. And just turn your body and step slightly. So when I step and my my the front feet step slightly, and my back seat also follow up the work, and slightly step forward, just like this. So 
we're going to do this for another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So back to the both hand, relax the shoulder. Uh, relax the shoulder all the time. Relax the, the knee, relax the hip, and stand straight. Then continue up to this, and step forward. And the next is stand straight, put the feet come back. So like this, just like this. So we're going to do this for another uh, 10. Okay, one, two, three, five, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do this again on the other side. this. So turn the hand, one step uh, forward slightly and facing to the front and put the uh, feet together, close together like this. So step and like this. And go from the center facing the front, just like this. We're going to do this for another 10. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So switch hand. We're going to continue this move with the stand. One uh, extend the uh, uh, lift the the knee up and extend. This. So put a flat your stomach, extend, stand up with one feet, flat the stomach so that you get the balance, and extend. We don't have to kick high, we just kick about um, 14 inches above the ground. So like this, okay? So that the the complete uh, combination of this form is like this. Yes. So we're going to do this. So like this. So we're going to do this for another 10. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We switch hand. So we're going to do this on the, on the right hand side. Turn, step, and put the, cap, put the feet together and waist the ankle and extend. When I extend the feet, keep the core flat. So like this, and then kick straight above the uh, about four uh, 12 inches above the ground maybe 14 inches but we don't go above the belly just like this so I uh, bridge hand and step forward slightly close uh, feet and raise uh, the ankle, the knee, and extend. So like this. So we're going to do this together for another ten. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one more uh, exercise combined with this combination. So like this, bridge hand, step forward, and turn, close feet, extend. And do it when the close hand, actually with the one more hand, just like this. Turn and put the hands uh, forward, just like this. When I close the feet, actually the hands is like this. From down to up. And my guard hand, simply put on the front. Before, extend the feet. So, like this. Like this. Like this, that side. Alright, we're going to do this for another 10. Just like this, okay. We're going to do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do this same exercise on the uh, right hand side. Same thing, bridge hand, step uh, slightly, close feet, uh, close when they call the feet. It's the sound time to turn the hand, the bridge hand, turn to the up hand, and then the, the guard hand, and the hand on the top. Just like this. Just like this. They are come together. When my feet close together, the feet, at the same time, my hands extend the front and turn like this. 
So the first coordinate between the feet and the hand a little bit uh, inconvenient, a little bit challenge. But if uh, you practice over and over again, then it's getting easier to coordinate them together, just like this. So we going to so I'm gonna extend the feet like this. So we're gonna do this for ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, relax the shoulder. So, so up to this compilation, then we're going to do the next uh, exercise. First, like this. Uh, up to this, the feet go down. So extend the feet, go down. So at the same time, uh, my hand make an elbow and just turn to the left, to the right. After I stand and I put on the side and like this. So, so same thing like this. The feet extend uh, a nice step, step to the right. My hands come together and then my feet also come together. So I step, my turn, just like this. My left hand, my left feet, go to the uh, right to the same time. Like this. So we're going to do this for, for another 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to switch hand. We continue with this hand together. So like this. So we're going to just do the uh, this exercise after we kick. After the kick, we step on the side and turn the body. When I step, my body turn. My hands, my feet, follow to turn to the left. Just like this. We're going to do this for 10 times. One, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I switch hand, so continue. Continue with the uh, with the this hand up to. I kick and stay on the side. 
and my hand, my left hand uh, facing to the right and turn just like this. When I turn my body, I start off with my footwork. My, my right uh, feet turn first, my body, uh, my hip turn, and the last, my hand turn. So it looks like my hand control my body. Uh, in fact, it's my footwork. Guide my hand go. My footwork go from the right to the left, then my hand go from the right to the hand. My footwork. My hand follow my footwork. So like this. So we're going to do this exercise. So I turn this one. Same thing, I, when I turn to the right, my left foot turn first, and my body turn, and my hand turn. So we're going to do this for 10 times. One, two, flat your stomach, relax your shoulder, relax your knee, and just select your footwork. Turn and control your turning. And just like this, make a left turn, easy, feel, uh, relax. Just like this. We're going to do this for 10 times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and then the next exercise after we turn left and right and put the head, both hands together and extend to the uh, high nut. Uh, head level. So when I extend, uh, actually my stomach flat and uh, back. So my hands go forward and my body actually go back to the spinal. We don't go past the spinal, we just the stomach go back to the spinal but not behind the spinal. So just like this. Control your stand and don't, uh, don't fall. And when I extend the hand, and try to make your chest, your stomach, go back uh, to the, to which, uh, to the spinal point and stop. Control the spinal. When I push the hand, and try to find your spinal. Yeah, don't focus on the extend hand and actually focus on your spinal. Try to push your stomach, your chest back to the spinal. And imagine that your chest, your stomach, uh, reach the spinal area. Try to find it. So we're going to do this for 10 times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax your shoulder. We're going to do this uh, exercise to push the both hand to the middle, like this. And push the hand, both hands in the front, and imagine uh, your, uh, your body, your chest, your, your stomach push to the back, reach the spinal. 
So hands up, hands the front, and the chest and stomach back to the spinal. That's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're going to do the last exercise. Is down like this. So and I push the hand down and imagine that's uh, our stomach and the chest go back to the spinal, not behind the spinal, just right at the spinal area. So we're going to do this for 10 times. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so close it, take a deep breath. <sighs> Wing Chun Virtual uh, Dummy Form Part 4 complete. The cool down exercise begin by swinging the arm, shake it, shake it and shake it feet. This. So we're going to count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to do this. So put a, a warrior pose and swing the arm forward and barrel. Sit back and put the hands to the front and to the back. So like this. So we're going to count 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do this uh, on uh, the other side. So turn and put the hands up front and back. So we're going to do this for 10 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm just going to shake the hand. Okay, so swing the arm a little bit. One, two, three, and stop, relax, and feel the hands uh, sensations, the fingertips, there's a blood flow flow around your hands, through your shoulder, to your body. So enjoy those feelings. Don't let them go. And gently raise the hands. Bring your hands up. Your body drop to the floor. Your mind 
and your hands are racing up to the sky. And your body weight gently drop all the way down to the floor. Through your leg to the bottom of the feet, melt to the floor. Relax and hold. Focus on your fingertips, your body weight drop to the floor, and drop your hands. Your mind follow your hand drop, and your body weight flying up to the sky. While your hands, your mind drop, and drop faster, faster, relax. Your both hands all the way dropped, pointing to the floor, and your mind, and also falling to the floor, and your body weight flying up to the sky. Hold and don't fall. Right. If you feel uh, dizziness or feel tired, you may sit down and until this uh, uncomfortable feeling gone, you may come back. Right. We start this exercise again. Raise your hands and your mind swallow your hands up. Relax your shoulder. Relax your hip. Let your body weight drop. And your mind and your hands go together. And to up and your body weight drop to the floor. is empty. The mind just focus on your hands up, fly into the sky, and your body weight drop so that your body is free, is empty. Do this exercise uh, as long as you feel comfortable. 
hands as much as you can. More you do this exercise, uh, more benefit for health uh, to you. So, relax a little bit. Don't fall. So we're going to count three and the warm up exercise complete. One, two, three. Relax. And bend down to your feet and then go up. Raise the hands. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. Thank you. The cool down exercise complete.